Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our web development tutorials. In this video, I'll be showing you some of the more HTML uh, HTML elements where uh, uh, you might have seen them in most of the websites like text boxes, buttons and so on. So let me show you what are they. Uh, whenever you go for registering on a website, you see a form like this. Right now, I'm on cisco.com and uh, when I try to register it they provide me with this form where uh, I have to enter my user ID my password and I have to select my job role level and then I have to enter this captcha and then I need to save that so how to create uh, something like this so first of all whatever uh, what you see over here this area in which you are uh, supposed to write the text is known as a text box where you can uh, write your name and uh, you can tell them what your name is okay and uh, you have another text box over here which is for the password so uh, this text box is different from this text box so how it's different it's simple when you type anything in this text box you can see that but if you type anything in this text box you can't see it okay so that's about the text boxes that is you can see the text and you cannot see the text in the password text box Okay, then what you have next is a uh, radio button. These are the radio buttons like home and business. Either you can select a, a radio button with has uh, which has the value business and a next one or the home. So you can select any one of them at a particular time. So then what you these all are text boxes again, and then you have a list like this. So you can there are many names for this you can call it a, a drop down list or a combo list uh, many names are there but we'll call it a drop down okay again here is again a drop down drop down is used for as you can see when you have multiple choices then you go for a drop down then after that again these are the drop downs text box drop down now text box and then this one is a check box okay these are check boxes so what's the difference between the check boxes and the radio buttons well the obviously the check boxes are square where the radio buttons are circular well just kidding it's not the case when you go for a radio button you can select only one value at a time you can see either you can select the business or you can select the home but when coming to the the check boxes you can select one value or you can go for multiple value so that's the major difference between the radio buttons and the check boxes and then what you have is the button okay this button plays a very important role most of the websites uh, whenever you press this button they will register you they will log in you so a button plays an important role in web development so this is also we are going to create so now let's let me open my text editor and let's start writing the code for it and just close the HTML then in the body tag uh, whoops now in that first of all I want to take the name of my user who is using my website so for that I will create a text box so how am I going to create a text box for it well it's very simple I'm just going to type input type equals what type of text box it is it's a text box okay so the type is text because I want to see the text then I will give it a name every element should have a name my name for this text box will be name box and its value will be nothing let me keep it empty for this time now let us save it and just view it in the browser so as you can see what we have achieved we have one uh, uh, paragraph saying name and then we have a text box where I can go and write the text uh, now I will just copy and uh, paste it and I will create something to get the password so for that I will say password and in place of text I will just write 
password fine now i will save it and its name i will change it to password box save it go to your browser refresh it now you have a text box to write the text and a password box to write the passwords as you can see it's not showing the text over here what's the difference between a text box and this password box just we have changed the type okay then after that sometimes we want to give our user to type some text in our website like uh, to uh, give them a chance to give us their comments for uh, about our website so for that we use an another type of element that is text area will create it now i will close my paragraph tag and then here i will say text area then in that i will give it a name comment box close it and then now i will define its size like how much big and how much wide i want it to be so let me say it the rows will be 5 means the height of my text area should be 5 and uh, the columns or the width of my text area should be 20 ok now I will close it and uh, then here I will say uh, I will just close it will not say anything text area ok you need to close the text area especially but you don't need to close this uh, text boxes okay let me just save it go back to the page and uh, refresh it now what we have is a text box where i can enter some uh, text and as you can see when this when it completes it goes down okay so what we have created is a text box now after that we want to create a drop down list or uh, let us select first the uh, radio button so let us create a radio button so for that let me go and uh, say gender let me take the gender of my user so for that I will just create one let me just copy it now its type will be instead of password I will say radio because it's a radio button so we are going to say it's a radio again radio now its name will be gender and uh, the next one will also be gender because they both have the same value or they both belong to a similar group so for that we are keeping their names equal otherwise we will not do it in any other case and the value will be for this one is male and for this one is female okay now the text for this will be male and for this will be female now just save it and go back when you refresh you will be having the radio buttons to select your gender either you can select male or you can select the female now uh, after that we will create some check boxes so for that we'll go back to our page and uh, here i will say uh, your uh, singer okay let me say singer you like singer you like okay now here I will give him some the list to select a singer or uh, let me just make him make him select his country will select a singer in the checkboxes because one might have more than one singer so I will say select country now in the select I will write option value equals India and its text I will write INDIA okay 
so I will close the option I will just copy it now I will write another country let's say US its value will also be US the next one will be UK whose value will also be UK so now let's save it and uh, when you go to your browser you will be given with a list to select your country fine you have India you have US and you have UK so if you go and adding this option you will be having more and more options let me show you just save it go back to the browser refresh it now you have this value six values okay so after that we'll create the checkboxes so to create a checkbox we will simply write first we'll ask select your favorite singers okay now you can select more than one singer so for that we will say input type equals checkbox because we are creating checkbox its name will be Lil Wayne and uh, the uh, value for it or uh, let me give the name separately okay the name will be singer now the value for it will be Lil Wayne and uh, the text will be Lil Wayne for it now let's just copy it now here I will have uh, one more let me say acorn whose value will also be acorn then we'll have 50 let me and its text will also be 50 then after that I will say and uh, the value will also be NML okay then I will just save it when I go back I'll refresh it what I have is the checkboxes I can select Wayne Acon 50 cent or NMN uh, we can select all of them together so here you have the radio buttons and here you have the checkboxes okay then after that we are going to create the button the last one so let me just go over here and uh, let's create a button for it for uh, that I will just say input oops input oops type equals submit okay I can uh, you can finish it over here just save it go back to your browser and just uh, refresh it so when you see what you got over here is a button right now this time it doesn't do anything whenever you click but uh, I hope you knew know, now you know how to create the text box for text the text box for password the comment box the radio buttons the drop down list the check boxes and uh, last but not the least the buttons okay so this was it for this tutorial hope you like the video and thanks for watching it